today we are going to integrate the electric actuators for the pitch and the yaw valves that are uh, placed on the Aerospike rocket engine. So um, in the previous episodes we showed you how uh, the roll command of the vehicle is achieved through the uh, thrusters, to the four thrusters that are placed on the circumference of the engine. So basically uh, those thrusters are controlling the roll of the vehicle, the spin around the longitudinal axis and uh, today we are going to show you how we are achieving the pitch control of the vehicle and the yaw control of the vehicle. So basically the tilt on uh, the two axes, horizontal axis of the vehicle. So uh, yeah, let's, let's see how uh, these things are uh, integrated. Okay, so the wind is quite strong and the sound quality might not be very good and the wind is intensifying so let's try to do this as uh, quick as we can. Today we integrated the electric uh, actuators that are uh, controlling the uh, pitch and the uh, yaw of the vehicle. Basically there are four of these uh, actuators placed in uh, cross on the vehicle, so uh, it, there is another one on the other side of the engine on this direction and another two perpendicular on this uh, axis. Um, let's say that the vehicle will um, have uh, up, uh, upward m movement from this uh, section, then uh, the IMU will uh, sense this movement through its uh, gyros and uh, accelerometers and it will send a signal to the flight computer and the flight computer will send a signal to the actuator and basically the actuator will um, close the valve that is uh, modulating the propellant flow in the engine and the thrust on this section of the engine in this uh, chamber will uh, decrease and the vehicle will move um, down with this uh, section, we'll move this section down. And uh, this is how the stability is achieved on uh, pitch and also yaw, basically is the same uh, procedure. And uh, once again, to be very clear, this is uh, pitch and this is uh, yaw. And um, this is how the thrust vectoring control of the Aerospike engine is uh, achieved through these uh, electric actuators that are controlling the um, flow through the valves in uh, the chambers of the engine. Basically there are four chambers on this engine and four of them have um, modulated propellant uh, flow. Um, in the previous episodes we discussed about the roll control of the vehicle and uh, in this episode we are uh, talking about uh, pitch and uh, yaw control and with this I hope we pretty much clarified how the stabilization and the trajectory control for the vehicle is achieved through the thrusters for the roll control and through electric actuators that are controlling the um, propellant uh, flow via four valves uh, 